Hello everyone, today we have a special treat for you. Here we have the Volvo EX30 rear wheel drive single motor and here we have the Smart Hashtag One, also rear wheel drive single motor. They have the same battery, the same motor, the same platform, everything is the same, just the form. We have a Volvo here and a Smart. And we're gonna, we are right here at the highway and we're not gonna do a little consumption drive. Not long, I can't have this car for a long time, but it's gonna be exciting. This car is provided by Auto Hirschvogel here in Passa, Mercedes-Benz dealer. They have Smart as well. Check them out in the link in the description below. In the hashtag one, we're driving 130 on the speedometer uh, because then he has in the EX30 um, uh, the self steering, which you don't have uh, higher speed. And it's interesting how different it is in here. I have a cockpit, I could have a head up display. This car doesn't have a head up display. I have Android Auto, which I don't have in the, in the Volvo because this has Android Automotive. Um, we, I have a trip in the cockpit. The trip here, of course, is in a normal display and I have a, a, a few trips. I have like three trips here, which is cool from charging since start and um, uh, you can reset yourself and we reset the trip uh, both at the same time. Important is I only have this car for two hours. So we're doing this trip, we cannot do charge before and charge after, there's no time. And they both cars have the same battery, the same platform, they charge exactly the same. So it's all about what the consumption number, I even think that the consumption number shown will be same calculated. It will be totally the same. There should be no problem with that. But this car here, the hashtag one, I got it with 60, 96 percent and the EX30 is was at 71 um, so we look at the difference at the end and then we look the most important at the consumption number that it shows us in the trip right now it says 293 watt hours per kilometer but the first 10 kilometers uphill uh, because we were in Passau we have to wait a bit it's busy our climate by the way is in 22 degrees AC on in auto We just turned around, we drove around 50 kilometers, I think a bit less, 48, something like this. And we were on the phone and talked about consumption in the middle and of course the state of charge. And state of charge, very interesting, exactly the same. We both used 15% of the battery and consumption, I had 215 watt hours per kilometer, he had 208. This seems to be correct um, because the Volvo should have a tiny bit higher WLTP range, which is very interesting. But with the state of charge, there's barely any difference. So if this stays the same, then it doesn't matter what car you get, <laughs> uh, depending when it comes to range.
I used 29% from 96 to 67 and my average consumption was 202. He used exactly 30% from 71 to 41 and his consumption is 192. So lower but more state of charge. So maybe the battery is not, lin not linear, but interesting. That was an interesting drive, an interesting result. <laughs> so either the state of charge is not, lin not linear, like I just said, and by the way, they both have the same thing where this part here with the AC is getting moist. I had this in, in, in the, the, the Smart 2. Not right now, for whatever reason, but when we started. Um, yeah, so the Smart has a higher consumption and this was uh, what I thought because uh, it has a lower double LTP range. Um, there should be exactly the same car underneath, this exact same platform. Oh, we didn't even check the tires, that's true. What do we have? 19 inch, 235, 19 inch, 245. These are wider tires. Yeah, and the rims are also a bit different that here in the Volvo, there's almost no holes. So maybe this could be a bit of a better consumption than here in the Smart. We have those gigantic three holes. I have no idea what is better for wind resistance. Um, it seems that the Volvo is better, but I don't know. But uh, like I said, we have wider tires on the Volvo. Performance! Drive-wise, I have no idea how two cars that are the same platform can be so different in, in what you do. Both had the same limit. Cut, uh, what is this? <laughs> 130 kilometers an hour and then you cannot uh, then uh, above this you cannot use the self steering but you can adjust the distance on the steering wheel here it's only uh, in the in the infotainment system I'm gonna do a little video differences between these cars yeah the bugs are horrible here um, in, a, in, a, in a second and then there will be an extra video because there's so many differences in these two cars that have the exact same platform it's really weird so, uh, we got and we got the result that i thought it would have and that's very interesting if you want to follow me on instagram battery life one and if you want to support the channel there's a patreon link in the description below and here on youtube you can do that via channel membership and if you're interested what's happening behind the scenes i have a third channel on youtube here behind the battery link it is in the description as well but that's it for me. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day and take care. Bye.